Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chelsea Dinan and I am thrilled about today's video. This topic is one that I am deeply passionate about and I'm trying to stay calm but I'm really just so excited because today I'm going to be answering the question, what is intentional living? But before we get started, I'm going to prime this very important video with one of my very favorite quotes. This is taken from the 2005 Stanford commencement address by none other than Steve Jobs. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice, and most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. If you have not watched that address or at least read the words, I definitely recommend it. Go and absorb that and use that as a foundation for your own life and for your own intentional living because that truly says it all. We can get so caught up in what everybody else is doing, what the world wants us to become, and then we lose sight of the purpose of our life and the value that we can contribute to the world. So today I am going to break it down for you. If you want more at the end of this video, head over to my website, chelseadinan.com. I have plenty of free resources over there for you to read. Check out more of the videos on my channel. And of course, be sure to follow me on Instagram at chelseadinan. I post just about every single day about topics like this to help you fight that fear and live a life that is in alignment with your values. Okay, so let's get started. Let's break it down. We're going to start by going over the definition of intentional. What does that even mean? And it's simple. The definition of intentional, done on purpose, deliberate. I'm sure you've heard me many times say either in some of the emails that I send out to you, which I will also link to below if you want to join my email tribe. I say to live on purpose, to be on purpose. And I'm sure you've heard me say to take consistent, deliberate action in your life. So intentional living is exactly that. It's to live a life of intention, to live a life on purpose. So here are a couple little pointers to either get you moving in that direction or to help get you back on track. First and foremost, remember the life is a series of choices. I've said this before, we cannot control our circumstances, but we can control how we react and how we respond. So we can't control what's happened in our past and we don't want to dwell there, but we can take that consistent, deliberate action to make changes in our life, to make different choices, different decisions that will align us with the life that we want to live. Okay, so moving right along, how do we know what kind of life we want to live? What does that even mean? It's about what are your values and what are your beliefs? And this is where all that soul searching comes in. This is where that hard work comes in of really digging deep. But really there's, there's two parts here. There's the part where we need to figure out what makes us who we are. This is known as self-discovery. And then there's the part where we have to separate ourselves from the culture that we live in, from what's going on around us. For many of us at some point in our life, we get swept away by what is going on around us. Either through our work situation, the relationships that we're taking part in, just our day-to-day -day life it becomes a cycle and it's not necessarily a good cycle. So it's really important to take a step back, to evaluate the life that you're currently living and what's going on around you and then decide for yourself whether that's the direction that you really want to continue moving toward. And this is why it's really vital to gain clarity around our values. Because in order to live on purpose and to be deliberate with our life and our actions and our choices and our decisions, we have to be really solid with our values. Not only our values, but our passions. What are we passionate about? Our talents, the things that we're really, really good at, and also to acknowledge the things that we aren't good at. This takes time, this takes a lot of energy to really figure those things out. And this is maybe where you wanna hire a life coach or sign up for some seminars, work on personal development, buy some new books, sign up for an online class, whatever it is that's gonna help you examine who you are and learn about who you are. So once you've gotten really clear on your talents and your beliefs and your values and your passions, 
The next step is to set goals and then to take consistent, deliberate action toward them. I'm also really passionate about setting goals and crushing them. <laughs> This is where you're really gonna to start to live on purpose and to make decisions with intention. I'm sure you've heard the term setting your intentions before. You set your intentions. What is it that you wanna get out of this? What is it that you wanna gain? What is it that you want to contribute? What is the purpose of doing this thing? And that's what intentional living is. It's really getting to the bottom of what is the purpose of this life, of this path that you are walking. Not anybody else, but you. And when you do get really clear on that and you take those consistent, deliberate actions, you begin to really be in alignment. And being in alignment means that you are making choices based on clarity and based on purpose. And when we are living intentionally, we are able to live a more essential life. Because the things that we are doing, the relationships that we are taking part in, the work that we are contributing, it comes from a much deeper place. So we can focus more on the things that truly matter in our life, the things that bring us joy, the things that we are passionate about, and less on the things that we are not. Less on the things that do not bring us that immense joy. So again, whether this intentional living thing is brand new to you, maybe you've seen it here and there, or you've heard me mention it and you're curious, or whether this is something that you have been committed to, but you want to recommit yourself to living a more intentional life, then let me know in the comments what it is you're going to do next. Is it going to be a deep dive into your own self-discovery? Is it going to be a coach that you hire? Is it going to be a course that you sign up for? Is it going to be simply setting your intentions, writing them down in a journal for this next year? What is it going to be? I'd love to hear from you and your comments will inspire other people as well. And last but not least, I also have an online community called Live Simple Collective where I teach you how to live a more simple and intentional life. There is a link to that below in the description box. I would love for you to come over and join the collective and continue to take the steps to live more intentionally. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss another video and also hit that like button so I know that you like videos like this and I will be sure to bring you more. Hopefully I'll be seeing you over on Instagram. You can follow me at Chelsea Dinan. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot that you have watched this, that you've maybe taken some notes, and you've set those steps for yourself to live more intentionally. I will see you guys next time.